What's the one secret to quickly scaling your building business? We went all in with the video and since then the business has grown dramatically from just having my dad, myself and another sort of labourer. We've now got 11 on, on the team doing some really good quality, beautiful projects that we're really proud to do. As part of our Sydney Builder Workshop back in May, we interviewed Larika from Liberty Building Contractors to hear the exponential impact had on her family's business when they decided to take marketing seriously. Hi, hi everyone, I'm Larika. Um, I work for Liberty Building Contractors under my dad, George Curry. Um, so back in 2019, my dad decided to expand the business. Um, he's been at Builders for forever, um, since he was really young, just by himself um, as a subcontractor doing sort of small contract work. And then in 2019, he approached me and was like, what do you think? You want to come and work with me and, you know, we'll expand and, and grow this, this business. Um, so I said, yes, yes, of course. Um, started out with no pay. <laughs> Not part of the deal, but anyway. Um, you know, just doing books and accounts, um, helping him wherever, whatever he needed help with. Um, then I think that was when we engaged with you guys. So that was in 2019. Um, we decided to work with Biz Video where they created the story about our business and who we were. Um, so that was pretty, pretty exciting, something different, big change, um, a bit of a risk as well for us at the beginning um, from starting so small. Um, so we, we did that, we went all in with, with the video and that was really exciting and since then the business has grown dramatically um, from just having my dad, myself and another sort of labourer. We've now got 11 on, on the team um, doing some really good quality, beautiful projects that we're really proud to do. And still with the working with this video now, four years later. Yeah. Yeah, so. um, yeah one thing that, I mean, we get a kick out of the relationship we build with all of our builders. Um, and those of you who work with us would know that. Um, but George is particularly special because I remember having the chat with him and he was like, we just can't do it right now, but I want it so bad. And he was busy working for someone else. And um, yeah, now we I mean, I had a call from George earlier. It's like, why are you not coming to dinner tonight? <laughs> um, but if we um, go back to that early stage, I know it was a big leap of faith for you guys to invest. Um, and then you, we started with a story and then since then, I mean, we weren't taking care of, of marketing, um, but what were some of the initial things you started to see once you started to implement the story? And uh, I know George mentioned he gave you the distribution program and said, yes. do everything that this video say. Um, and then what did you start seeing after that? Um, so, yeah, so he put me in charge of the distribution of the video. Um, There's a few, few steps to follow and set up. And um, so I did as I was told. Um, and and instantly, it was a really, we found that it was a really good way to just say what we wanted to say without having to say anything. Really convenient. Um, whenever we got a lead, we would, you know, drop our video into the email, send it across, and we wouldn't even have to introduce ourselves. That did, the video did that for us. So that was an instant, really good, positive way to introduce ourselves. Um, feedback from the people around us. Because um, one of the steps in the distribution is to share it with your family and friends first, you know, so we did that and we had an overwhelming response of people saying, wow, this is, I've never seen anything like this. Um, we, we don't even need to build a house, but we want to build a house with you guys because this is such a nice video, such a nice company, like, you know, nice vibe. So we got really good positive um, feedback quite instantly. Um, one thing that often gets overlooked by a lot of builders we talk to, um, especially when they start seeing it once it gets distributed, and that's why we say um, friends and family first often, uh, because you don't realise how many of your friends and family, I'm sure a lot of you and a lot of the builders we work with are very, very humble. Um, and so if they go into a barbecue and someone asks what they do, they just say, oh, we just, you know, I'm a builder. You know, they don't really like talking about themselves. And so that 
that can very often restrict your, your network around you that could be referring your work to actually understand, um, actually understand what it is that you do and, and the level to which you do what you do and the, the value that you provide. Um, and that's been amazing feedback over the years to hear from our builders. It's like, oh, I had, I know one classic story was a guy who, uh, a, a really good friend of his, um, watched it and, and reached out to him and said, man, I had no idea that that's what you did. I thought you just project managed for a, pro a project builder, you know? And he's like, no, it's my own company. And the friend is a real estate agent. And so you just imagine how much work, and this guy specializes in, in new builds and renovations. And so you just think how much lost work there'd been over a decade because his good friend had no idea what he did. Um, and this is, yeah. So back then, I know, um, we gave you that distribution and we still give that program to all of our builders because there's a lot that they, just nuances that they can use it in both marketing and sales. Um, nowadays, like when I showed you, we take care of everything. Um, what, how much of interaction do you guys have with us now on an ongoing basis with Richard? Uh, and what, what's it like knowing that marketing's taken care of by us? Um, I know like sometimes it's a bit hard to, content is a bit of an issue sometimes um, when you're just posting, wanting to post things and you don't really know what to say. But the team there, they're full of, full of got, you know, loads of it. So he was really helpful in just creating, creating things to help us say what we want to say. Um, so that's amazing. Um, and also any changes that we wanted to make, he was always very quick, acted on it very quickly um, to, get, to get whatever message we needed across quickly. Yeah. Yeah, that's good. Um, I know you guys have been working with Kurt um, recently, which has been amazing for you guys. Um, talk to us a, a bit about the importance of having systems and processes in place to manage what comes your way um, and how to filter and how to qualify and disqualify um, that process. Yes, yeah, so we, we signed up with Kurt a while ago and he's helped our business immensely so much. Lots of um, processes that we didn't have and we've implemented because of him. And the best thing about it is that his video and Kurt work together so a lot of their programs align, which, which is helpful. Um, so any, with the sales, sales processes, we were able to implement them into our business but also his video was able to help with that as well, with the new, um, new amplifier, ad, yeah. yeah, what do you call that? Uh, BV Amplify. Pro, yeah, yep. Amplify, BV Amplify. So that is really good because it aligns with our sales process, um, gives us, it makes it very easy to track leads, communicate um, automatically, and just we don't really have to think about it much, which has been so helpful because you know you lose track or you you're busy with other things. So that's. So that's been really good and the, we've been able to filter through, you know, sometimes you might get a lead that someone's just sort of, uh, it's like to say time wasting, but yeah, that. And so we found the more that we um, sort of refined our ads with, with the Biz Video team, um, we, the leads that we're starting to see coming through are just the people that we want to speak to, the people that see us and go, yeah, I, I really like what you guys do. I've seen other builders, but I, we like what you do. So it's it's had definitely had a positive impact and, and less time wasting, um, which is really good. Yeah. Um, from your perspective, it's been amazing to see you guys grow and I love watching that and, and sharing the wins um, with you guys. From your perspective, why, um, why do you keep coming back? Why do you keep investing? I know even through COVID, you guys, um, yeah. you know, kept investing, kept doing it. Why do you guys keep doing that? We keep doing it because we, we love you guys. Um, personality obviously is a big thing. It's good to work with people that are similar, similar values. Um, so that's always a bonus to be able to work with people like that. And also the product. So we, we have someone who's holding our hand, guiding us through, you know, every month, month in, month out, where we're having meetings constantly, um, constantly contacting us and thinking of ways that we can improve things. They'll say, hey, have you guys tried this? We discovered it works with somebody else. Maybe you guys can give it a go. Um, anytime there's a crisis or we think, you know, 
this is an issue that we're facing, they're quick to come, come up with a solution for us because, it, you know, with the other people that they've worked with, they've got that experience. Um, so that, that's, you know, a big reason and obviously the, the response that, we've, that we have, like our, our brand awareness is we couldn't have been anywhere like this without these guys. Um, we constantly have people like saying, love, love your videos, always see you guys on you know, Instagram and love to see you guys. And so it's, it, we couldn't have done that. And it's you know, priceless, yeah. Um, when you guys hear comments like that, what does it do for, for you and the team's confidence when you're engaging with a new prospective client or something like that? Um, it's, of course, it's good. It's a good feeling. It's, it's exciting. Um, it's nice to see, like just today, where I, Natasha um, came and approached me and goes, you're George's daughter. And how she knew was because of the videos. So it's just, it's exciting. It's, you know, it's nice to know that people can see you, they get to know you, you kind of break down a bit of a few walls before they get through the door, you know? So it's definitely a good, good feeling. Um, awesome, well, thank you very much. Any questions? from the room for myself or Lerica. Yep. You actually getting paid now, Eric? <laughs> <laughs> yes. Not much, but I'm getting paid. <laughs> yes. Uh, yeah. How do you feel when, um, when people are sending you guys like contact notices and stuff? Do you feel that they're coming with a sense where they kind of already know you or are they still kind of like in that? discovery phase like how has it changed yeah. for you guys it's we feel like they do know us we do because and my dad has made this comment before that he's gone to a job site he's gone to a, a job to for a lead to meet somebody and they go oh wow it's actually you like you're coming to and he's like yeah it's actually me you know so people do know us um and it does do a, it does a bit of that you know intro work for you before you even get there. I had a lead call me earlier this week saying I saw your video and I had to call because I thought it's a family business and, and that's so important to us. And I was like, oh, that's nice. So it definitely helps. Yeah, yeah. This one's for you. Um, yeah. I suppose I've been with the same marketing consultant for about six years. Mm -hmm. um, I've got decent results. Um, sometimes I do feel like maybe. Some of my socials are getting a bit stale. This might be a hard question, but what sets you different? Sorry to put you on the spot, but from other marketing agencies and that, that you know, do consulting for builders. What, what do you feel that you offer? I'm, I'm not trying to make you, you know, but just interested to hear what, what do you feel that you, you offer better than, I suppose, or not better, what do you believe, what do you think you do? What do you do think that you do great at, I suppose? Not better, great. Um, I think our, our process is a very, very important part. It'd yeah. be like, same for you guys, um, when you're getting someone, if they come through the back door and things get missed, the outcome isn't the best. Um, for us, you know, we always start with qualifying. Um, so that would be, if we were to have a chat, I'd want to understand what's, what's happening, um, what have you been doing for the last six years. Um, sometimes, often we'll say no to clients uh, because it's not a good fit. And we can see that what we do won't actually solve their problem. Um, so for us, it would be our process, qualifying, making sure that the problems you're having are the problems that we solve and then helping you get clear on, on vision and, and all that, and then making sure that what we create is you, uh, that's very, very important. Because what we don't want, and we get the request every now and again, it's like, oh, should I hire, should I hire this car for the day? Should I, get a, should I hire this house to make it look? And it's like, no, please don't. Let's not even work together. Because if you are putting something out there that is not you and is not giving you, you're not confident to say, yeah, that's us. That is us. Um, and for a lot of our builders, we want that feeling when they see it to go, yeah, that, that's us. And they're proud of it. And so if that's not the case, then when you turn up to a site meeting, you're trying to think, oh, who do I need to be? You know, what did I say last time to win that? And we don't want that. Yeah. So a bit of a rounder way to answer it. Yeah, Holly. You said that you've been working with this video for four years. Um, is that always on marketing, or are you finding that you've got like when you've got a big pipeline of work, you're switching it off and then having a break and then picking it back up? No, it's been consistent. So always, always on marketing, always um, managing our social media ads, um, 
and doing the monthly sort of updates and reports. So they, they, we have a meeting every month where we sit down, we talk about the leads, we talk about the messaging, we run through the ads that are running, we tweak whatever we think. Um, the things that are up and down is more like when we add a case study. So for example, if we finish a really amazing project that we really want to showcase, then we'll invite them in to do that. So that's probably the things that will vary, but the marketing is consistent. Yep. Do you have guys on site that will do like a quick video if you've got something exciting happening on site and then and they talk to the, you know, on the video and say, this is what we're doing here at this yeah. particular job and um, then they post that themselves or? Yes. So me, myself and uh, my sister will post organically whatever's happening in the day to day. like. Uh, for example, yeah, like you said, something on site, we just laid a slab, we'll go and, you know, yeah, so we do that as well. Yeah. 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 Uh, when, like, your clients, like, first reach out to you and you go through the qualifying process, like, how, how well educated are they at that process or do you have, like, um, like sort of a second set of, like, videos or something that might, like, so they, they come at different stages all the clients the leads they're at different stages they're not always um, some of them are very educated they know they've you know sort of seen a lot of messaging googled a lot of stuff um, at, when you say educated about our business um, yeah they do know they have seen a few of our videos um, with the latest um, B Amplify system, that sort of um, gets the client, gets the lead in earlier and starts sort of generating automatic emails with different content to nurture them a bit more on their way before they get to the point where they're actually ready with building. And so that probably does that a bit more, targets them at different um, levels. So that that's still fairly new. Yeah. Oh, yeah. <coughs> yeah. Good question, Adrian. So um, the goal always is to bring someone into your environment. So pipeline is one way you can start to measure that person on their journey towards working with you. Um, the earlier you can get them on, the more time and an opportunity you have to nurture and educate them. Um, but yeah, definitely, um, that's always a brilliant idea is to create resources to present to them once they start talking, because you don't know, some people might start talking to you um, and they've just m maybe missed, for whatever reason, they've missed a lot of that previous education. Um, they like what they saw and they're just jumping straight on. Yeah, then it would be good to have resources in place. Um, you might start off with a written, something written with photos and then we can look at doing some videos on educating on certain aspects of the business. Yeah, definitely. And it would present you obviously more professional as well. And they, I think a lot of clients, if they want to be educated, uh, it, it's, it gives them a sense of empowerment um, and if it's coming from you then it sets you as an authority as well. Um, and we also have all of our videos that the, the guys do for us, we have them on our Instagram so if someone's scrolling or, or Facebook and Instagram scrolling through our videos and our photos they'll be able to see all these different videos with different topics like we've got one that's um, topic around selections and the selection process we've got one that's about you know um, if you don't have any plans and you want to get your own like we can organize to get your plans done for you so there's a few different topics short videos that we have on our Instagram we don't know I mean sometimes people are fully you know stalked us and they know everything when they by the time they come and speak to us yeah so Really? Well, thank, thank you very you. much. Oh, Erica, thank, thank you very much, guys. Can you please thank Erica. Erica for thank coming you. up? Thank you.